everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's video now it doesn't seem mm, that long ago since i kitted up these but as you can imagine with a 15 by 15 and a 13 by 17 they did not take that long to do so i have finished these samples from diamond art studio um and they do look beautiful they're very pretty they've picked i think good pictures to do the samples with i have seen a few people on my like instagram doing samples from other companies where they've used an image that i wouldn't say is the best as a sample and could be a bit off-putting to some people so these are very nice images, you know, they show up really well. You can totally tell that is a little kitty cat and that is very obviously like a daisy. So my thoughts on these was that I really like the drills. Um, that was something in the canvas and the glue. They were things that I were really impressed with. All I would say is... I am slightly off-putted by the fact that I thought the symbols were very hard to see. Um, so there wasn't really an issue with any of the black ones. So like all, all of these that have like black uh, lettering. The only issues I ever found were the ones with white symbols on them and not so much this one because if you look at the white symbols on this we've got an equals which is a really thick white line there's the s d h and that swirl and the swirl was only in a few places so not really a big deal but the rest of them are quite different and on different color backgrounds uh, that i could make out so it was all right this one was another story though um this one only has a couple three black symbols and the rest were white and they just they're all on like gray colors and you put the light pad on and they just completely just merged into one so i had to keep taking the light pad off and on again so i would be really intrigued if people could comment down below if they've tried an actual kit from diamond art studio um on if it's the same that they found especially on the squares because like i said it wasn't really an issue on that one but it was on the square because i have seen a few paintings that i really would like but the thought of doing what i had to do for this one on like 40 by 50 just gives me a headache um so please do comment and let me know if the symbols are better or if they are the same you know if you use a light pad because especially with squares I want to see the light pad to make sure I'm putting the squares on as as straight as I can so please let me know down below but overall they make a very pretty image and I'm happy with the outcome and that's one of the things with diamond painting isn't it we don't like to do a full painting and go oh my god that looks awful so I'm just gonna pop them to one side and get down to the big pile of stuff it's gonna help me get it down so here you'll probably remember because like I said it's only like a couple of videos ago that I actually kitted this bad boy up and um, here is my spare storage my drills if you've not seen this before because I'm not gonna give you everybody a headache of going through exactly how my storage works please go see one of my videos I have a storage playlist and it's relatively straightforward it's cards and baggies so what I will say though because you will see me using them here are my baggies here are my DMC stickers um, I basically have every DMC number in square and round and I'll use this as a reference whilst kitting down instead of looking through my storage to see if I've already got the bag if the stick is still on here I haven't got the bag so kind of easy right so how I did this in fact let me just took off that and get my little bin oh there we go a little trash bin um so how I did this one because I knew that it would take me literally two minutes um 
I need to take the cover sheets out. I'll put them away in our bit. Um, I basically kitted up both of them. So this side is the squares. This side is the rounds. So what I'm going to do is the rounds first. So I know I'm just working with my round sticker sheets. And I'm not getting anything messed up. So I've just got a little tray a little um resin tray actually it has bust um so yes but uh i just use that because it's a nice biggish square tray and i like butterflies so the first one we have is 501 so on my sheet i'm looking for 501 which i have a sticker for which means i do not have a bag so realistically I should have opened these up and got a few out. Stick the sticker on. In fact, let me just have a look. I don't have any of 502, 503, 505. So I may as well just stick them bags up now. Because it will be quicker to just put a sticker on the baggies and then and I've done it I don't know about 781 which was the next one because that will be on the next sticker sheet so there wasn't loads left over from this uh, diamond wise but you know it's because there wasn't many to start with so I've only got a little bag, so I just need to find 501 in my box and stick that baggy in. And then let's have a look at how these, so these labels came from my Zyron sticker maker. And apart from a little bit, they're not too bad to get off. And I will get a wipe. Well, actually worked pretty good last time was I did use glass cleaner <laughs> I used a, a, a glass cleaner like you know window and glass um, to get the stickiness off and it got most of the residue like yes they could be cleaner I could scrub 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 and then have literally no marking or anything on them but they got the stickiness off and the stickiness is the main thing so them stickers are really easy to remove. I'm impressed. So, yeah, the drills were really good on this one. I have to admit, they um, were nice. Not a lot of trash drills. Yeah, there's some really good quality about like the canvas. Um and um, you know diamond art studio like i can definitely tell that there is things that they have really tried on to make beautiful and i think we need a company like that in the uk and obviously i'm in england and i'm always looking for you know british companies it's just hard in the in the diamond art community it's hard to sometimes tell people places say that they're in the UK but they ship from China so it's just you're paying like they'll charge you more but they're just drop shipping from AliExpress like come on really um so 781 is my next one which I don't have these are like my stickers for um non diamond art club um the reason i separate them i guess is because a most of the, my canvas is a diamond art club i get a lot more uh drills from a diamond art club kit like left over because they're bigger so you naturally just get more and um I don't know at the moment I've not done many other kits so 
I just kind of want to keep them separately because I'm going to get loads with all these different variations of shade, de like um, dye lots, stuff like that. 890 I do have. So let me just find. So I don't need to create a bag for that one and I'm just going to pour it in. Because like I said... I'm not bothered really about different shades but the thing is like they are quite different but who cares um the thing the thing I don't even know why I do it I just it gives me anxiety to put diamond art clubs in different bags like I like the idea of just knowing how many drills I've actually collected from just there whereas the other companies I'm really not too fussed about because I don't buy them as much or I haven't come across a company that I want to buy as much at the moment. I'm sure it will happen, like, I'm totally up for buying from other companies. I've seen some from, like, Treasure Studios Art that I want. I've seen some from a company called Spell Queen. I've got, like, a list on my phone of all these different um, places that I want to try. So it's not that I'm being just a like a one a one woman like a one I don't even, even know what I'm saying people I'm chatting rubbish oh uh, it's not like I'm just like a one place type of woman you know I'm all up for shopping around because I've just got a lot at the moment mainly because well what happens when I shop for diamond paintings I'll be honest I like go into a sh like the store, well not into the store physically but I go onto it and I literally go down like, you know where they have all, all kits, I go down that and I literally just wish list everything I like it's because I can't help myself, I am a nightmare when it comes to stuff like that so I will wish list absolutely all sorts and that then I've got my heart set on them and what happened with Diamond Art Club is I've wishlisted a ridiculous amount of stuff and so I just want them and you know I've been like I said on Treasure Studios Art I've seen two so far on there there isn't as many just because I don't think it's my sort of cup of tea in terms of painting style but like I will order both from there um and if I saw any more, then I would be like, oh my god, I want more of them. You know, it's just how I am. And the same with other companies. I will go on, I will look at all of them, and I'm sure I will build up a massive wish list, and then all of a sudden just go on a binge, and then you'll be seeing loads of them paintings. It's what I do. So I do apologise, you know, um, if it seems like I'm all just one-sided. Like, I got these um, from Diamond Art Studio. I've seen paintings I want there. Like I said, I'm just a bit sceptical at the moment. Just simply because, you know, the symbols weren't great on the light pad. But I, I really do want you guys to tell me. You know, I have heard loads of people raving about it. So something's telling me, well, they can't, the symbols can't be that bad because... I mean, I found it really struggle to complete that cat one. So I can't imagine people raving about it if they're all like that. Because it's got to give people a headache, right? So I do I do think that um, it's probably just because it's a sample. And that they put more, I don't know oomph into their their non-sample kits but please let me know like I said because I will if people say okay it's just a fluke like I have squares because I want to get a square in the ones that I have seen uh, 3817 because I'm on a bit of a square sort of hiatus at the moment I like squares um so yeah I kind of want to get squares in them 
because the like the rendering looks better and stuff. Three eight two one. So please, please, please let me know. And if there's any more companies out there, you know, that I should look at, do let me know also. My mum will kill me for ordering any more diamond paintings. That's why we haven't had an unboxing in a few weeks or whatever. I am being banned. <laughs> My mum literally said to me, and this is the English humour, but she's like, if I see one more diamond painting coming through this door, it's going on the main road. <laughs> Every <laughs> Growing up, everything, um, like, would be threatened by something going on the main road. <laughs> Uh, three, eight, five, two. Doobie doobie doo. I need another bag. So yeah, fun times, right? Is your mum really your mum if they don't have like some sort of threat? Three eight five two. It was so funny because I just have to say it to myself. Uh oh, that's why. I literally just looked in here and I was like, okay, that is a completely different colour. But it's three eight five three and it's in the wrong place. So this one's three eight five two. <sighs> so yes. I tell you what though. You know, I'm starting to think that I want my channel to be um, more of just an easy going sort of channel. Okay, so they're the dodgy 3865. Oh, wait, no. These are the dodgy 3865s. So when I did Diamond Dots conversion, they said they were 3865, but they're like cream. And I don't think they are, and I'm yet to come across sort of a colour that matches them more. So I've kept them in a separate bag. Oops. One there. Just spilling, spilling a drill. I'm trying to get it. So yeah, 3865 is meant to be sort of like an off-white, like not a pure, pure white, but definitely not like a cream. <laughs> They're very different, and I do think it's a different colour completely. I just, like I said, need to, need to find one that's a better match. They're not, because they're more like a, I don't know, like a brownie white. Like white with a tiny bit of brown in it, so 3866. So that is all the round ones done from the daisy after I've just put this in. So that goes in here and they're done. So it's just squares now from the kitty cat. So I just need to swap over sheets is a good thing about doing this as well like if I swap over my sheets to the square ones I'm not going to make a mistake and put the wrong like sticker on it or whatever let me just get a seat because oh my feet are killing me so let's go from the top 310 I have not got 310 in like square that are just normal squares not DAC squares so this is literally it now I think I've got 310 in like a bag for 310 in everything that I need a bag for 310 so there you go there and woo I've got all my 310 so, yes. 
Oh gosh, I tell you what. I've not been with it this week. I've not done anything I've needed to do. I'm going to need more bags for this. I haven't done that many squares. But have I even done... Yes, I have done a non... DAC square so there might be the odd one or two colours but it's going to be very rare so I reckon all of these are going to need stickers so I can already see I also need one for 318 so I may as well pull that off as well yeah, I've just been really off like it's, it's been my second week off from uni and I'm a bit fed up and I just want to die in pain and I've got work to be getting on with but I've just not been at all in the mood to do it does anybody else like ever have that it's not good really I guess I shouldn't be this way I should get my arse into gear but like I said I'm finding it very difficult at the moment to do that not in the mindset um so I don't know is any does anybody else have times in their life where they're just like you know I know I need to do something I just I just can't I can't bring myself to I've just realized as well I best look at my camera and see what we're on oh my gosh I've still got drills in the bottom of that drill um so let me just pause my camera and unpause. <laughs> Are you proud of me guys? I think in the last few videos I've actually remembered to to do that. Or have I? I know I have a few times. Oh, there we go. I think that is now the mall in there. I just went to put it back and it was like I could hear something rattling in the bottle. I was like, hold on a minute, I haven't got all of them out. There we go so 413 like I said I bet I haven't got a load of these and 414 I can also see that so I'm just gonna put that sticker on too okay yes how do i get out of the funk though that is the thing i'm just so ready i'll be quite honest i'm so ready to just not be at university not having to have like the demands of education the thing is you know some of it's easier i obviously i've got these weeks off um you know I have like summer vacations stuff like that that you obviously don't get in a normal job or I will because I'm going to be a teacher but um you know it's not just something that stops when the the work day stops I think that's what people forget like so I am full-time at university so I get up in the morning I do my lectures I do all my work stuff like that and it's the same with school kids like i don't envy them one bit so four five three because they've got to do all that but then you've got revision and you've got homeworks so you have to come home and do all them you know you don't you don't stop i constantly have assignments to do i'm not really on a break it's just I don't have extra lectures to do but I'm doing all my work and I think that's sometimes what some adults forget I know my parents have a few times and I've had to remind them like it's more than full-time like university it's a full-time course but it's more than a full-time job um I'd like to be able to just go to work, come home, and then the rest of the evening, it's just my time. I really can't wait for that day to come. So, 938. Which 
we're skipping a full sheet entirely, which I do have. Woo! 938 is here. I like it when I've already got a bag. Because my dream one day is to have every single colour with a bag filled up. Oh, and they actually are a nice match. I like it. So yes, that would be the dream, the dream, definitely, okay, 975, I do not have, looks like I have 976, but not 975, oh and I need 976 as well, so 975, what am I doing? I'll just keep it open. I actually have to put the drills in the bag first to stick them in my spare storage. Okay, so that's 975 and then I do indeed, I was just getting ahead of myself because I was like, oh, I've got 976. I do have 976. It's here. I often get ahead of myself. I'm so annoying. Yep, another load of them to go in my little bags. Another good match. And to start to fill them up. Love it. I should have 3371. Because if you remember that safari painting with that elephant, God, I bet I had 3371 in it. Throw. Where on earth is the three threes? Oh, I know I've got it. I'm just looking. I can't even find it on the sheet. But of course I'm not going to find it on the sheet if I've got it, right? So that's me being a doof. Three, three, seven, one. Huh. Get a nice little bag of them already going. And then one more is three, seven, and nine, nine. Three, seven, one. It's like a proper chunk there. A three, three, seven, one. I've got loads of it. And then three, seven, nine, nine is my last one, which I don't have already. So I just need to get the sticker off. I can't get my nail underneath. There we go. And there we go. The last colour to kick down. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to go and I'm going to get a wipe and some of my uh, glass cleaner and try to just tidy them up a bit. So give me two seconds. Okay, so this time I've got like a, a dish cloth thing, like a cloth and I'm just going to spray them a bit. <laughs> I probably totally should have, you know, just sprayed the rag, but what I'm going to do is wipe down them all. It's not going to hit, like it's only foam that's on the, like, the bottom of this case. It's not, like it's the end of the world. And like I said, the main, the main aim is to get the sticky residue off so I can see that a few of them are pretty bad let me just spray the rag in like one spot 
and kind of give them all a good rub. Like so. I definitely still need to invest in some goo gone. But I just don't. I don't know, it's a tenner. And I'm being tight. Um, so I might as well just, you know, stick it out for as long as I can with glass cleaner. And just use that. Like I say, I put stickers on the bottles anyway. I just feel like, you know, I am literally going to start sticking these up like straight after this. It's just I know that they're getting a bit out of hand with how much residue is on the top of these bottles. So I do know I kind of need to try to get off as much as I can. with them all yeah it's not the easiest to get off but I think that'll do and like I said I really need to invest in some goo gone so that is all kitted down I really hope you enjoyed the video whether or not you're just literally listening to me ramble on while you're diamond painting or if you wanted to know how I did it um, I hope this helped so thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking and commenting and I will, until next time, I will see you in the next video